in today's video, we are going to talk about the newest features added to Easel by TPT. And then I decided just to do a little bit of comparison between Easel and Boom. Are there big differences? Stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is Laurieann and this channel is It's All Primary. We talk about teacher side hustles. Whether you are new or returning, I so appreciate you being here. And about a month ago, I was invited to a Teachers Pay Teachers town hall meeting. I had never heard of these things and I thought, let's go. So I did and they announced some features that they had uh, just added to Easel by TPT. Now I had made a previous video, which I'll link there, on my initial review of Easel by TPT. Some of that stuff no longer applies because my biggest beef was you can't upload clip art and fonts. Well, one of the newest features is that you can now upload your own clip art. This is great and what's even wonderful, even more wonderful about it is that your images are flattened. So it, it meets the terms of use for your clip art artists and you don't have to worry about people trying to take it because you can try and right click, do all sorts of things and you just can't, you just can't get it. You can't take it. So that has been a really wonderful thing. I have played with it a few times. I've uploaded images not only as you know, a movable image, but also as a background. And I'll, I'll show you. I'm going to be turning the camera around in a few minutes and show you that. The other really good news is that you can check out your students' work while... Now, they say in real time. My students are too young to go on there, so I can't... I haven't... I haven't tested this out, but they say you can check it in real time. I'm just going to assume they're right. <laughs> I, like I said, I can't check it out. One of the reasons why I don't use easel for me personally as a buyer is that I work with grade ones and they don't have email accounts and so we're discouraged from using Google. I can still create a link but it's it's just not as... I just print things out. That's, that's pretty much the bottom line for me. I print things out but from thousands and thousands of teachers Easel is going to be a great option for them, especially if they're using Google Classroom. So in a moment, we'll look at some images and, and I always start with PowerPoint because, and, and I'm going to be making a video uh, about two weeks down the road on repurposing your content because when I work in PowerPoint, I have so many options. I can move it to Easel. I can move it to Boom Cards. I can move it to Google Slides. I can just create a PDF, right? There are so many wonderful options. You can also do the same thing in Google Slides if you don't have PowerPoint. You can create PDFs from Google Slides. You can create JPEGs and move them to Boom. You can, you can take your Google Slides, again, PDF, easel, right? You've got all these options. So I use PowerPoint. I created just, um, I just I created a background with some stuff on it, some content, and then I'm going to upload it as images, JPEGs or pings actually, no, JPEGs to Easel. Very easy to do, and and then I'll show you what you can do with that. But let's talk about Easel and Boom. You know if you've watched any of my videos, I love Boom, but I am not uh I'm always willing to see other platforms, look at other platforms, experiment with them. I think Easel's getting closer to how I feel about Boom. I, I just like the user friendliness of Boom. Easel's still a little bit uh, rough around the edges for me, okay? But I'm not going to blame Easel for that. That's me for not playing with it. I played with Boom for hours upon hours when I first started. I haven't spent hours upon hours on Easel. So I need to give it a, a much better look. And, but right now, there's a couple things that I'm still waiting for for Easel. The first one is audio instructions. With my little ones, I always give them audio instructions on their Boom cards. And even in Google Slides, there are audio instructions. That is a huge one for me. So right now, Easel says, TPT says they are doing, they're adding, audio, it's coming. So that's great. But right now they don't. The other thing is I like to change the fonts and 
I'm still playing with the answer box. I'd like to preset the font. So I think you can do that. I haven't figured it out yet. And if you know how to do that in Easel, pop me a comment down below. I'd love to find out. So many of you in the last couple of weeks have been giving me such great information. Thank you so much for sharing your wisdom and knowledge. <laughs> we, it, we help each other this way. Creating a TPT store should not be done alone. I've said that before. I will say it again. Take help anywhere you can get it. Sometimes you might have to pay for it. Sometimes it's going to be offered free to you. But there are so many um, struggles when you're building your own business. Don't do it alone. Just don't do it alone. But right now, I'm still choosing to make boom cards over easel products. Easel is being promoted more by Teachers Pay Teachers. And so if you have a, if you have a new store and you want to get seen a little bit more, your easel products will get moved up the search. So you might even want to even create two or three different products in there. Start with, you can create your very own, which I'll show you. You can just upload a PDF. You can have an existing PDF activity in your store right now, and you can make it, you can create some easel things in it. As it is with most products that I create, it always begins with PowerPoint. If you are using Google Slides, that's fine. It still works, but I'm going to, instead of create a brand new one, I already started this playing. So I'm just going to open up this one. This one is really similar to a deck of Boom cards I already have in Boom Learning. I think this might even be for sale as Boom cards in TPT. Anyway, so what I always do is I make one slide and I I play with a background. I don't want it too busy. Usually I put something something busy towards the bottom and keep the top part as simple, but I, I don't like to leave it just white with a frame. I'd like to put some color. I decided this one, and then I just did a sample of different ones. So the coins can be movable for these particular type of questions. I just decided keep it easy to experiment with. When I get into easel, I will put the answer box right here. So I made a few of these. Now what I also need to do is, and I'm, this way, if I have my text in here, then that's how I get around the text that Easel supplies. The other thing I'd like to do, let's add one more slide. Um, actually, let's do duplicate this one and then say drag 48 cents into the, the large rocks. Okay, so then that means I need to get rid of the coins because they're not draggable yet. So get rid of these. I don't need that. Okay, so then I can maybe play with something like this. And I gotta get rid of her. And I already have actually blank one. So I am going to upload all of these and see what happens. I've played with this already so I am aware of some things. So let's turn these into JPEGs. Go up to File, Export, and I'm going to move these in onto the desktop just to make it easier. And X JPEG 1400 by 1000 is what I use for boom cards. So we'll do that and I'll take every slide. So there we go. And so now it's in a folder on my desktop. So let's get out of here and go over to Easel. I'm going to go up here to where it says Easel by TPT, or you can go right here. One of the newer features is Easel Assessments. Now, I honestly have not used this. I don't have any students using Easel Activities. My students are too young. They don't have email addresses, so I don't use that. So I'm sorry, I can't talk about that one. But I'm going to go to Easel Activities. These are existing Easel Activities. I do have some, or you can go here. Either one's fine. So let's just go here. You can create easel activities two ways. I'm going to go here to activity. One is a PDF and the other one is a blank. So let's just go to the blank. As you can see, it's sort of set up as a almost like a task card. One of the things that I've been experimenting with, and I'll show you in just a moment, when I put a background on here, you cannot adjust it the full width of this slide. So let me just go to that one. What I've done is I've already uploaded just to save some time. 
So I have uploaded this slide, and as you as you can see, I can move it from side to side, but I can't I can't lengthen it in any way. So I'm just putting it on this side. And I, I'll use this sort of margin to make comments or write instructions. So here was one of the other slides I showed you. This all all this one requires is an answer box. So if I select answer box. I can't drag it on to this image. Kept thinking I was doing something wrong, but it will drag on to the white part, but not onto here. That might be just because it's a JPEG. If it was PDF, I'm sure you can, well, you can for sure, because I've done it before. So what I want to do here is just adjust the size a bit. I'm going to change the text to 40. And what I've tried to do is change the alignment from left to right. If I go to text, change to black, and then align right, it still doesn't show. But let's go see on in the student view. So if you go up to the corner, view as student, which is nice to have it over there. I like that feature. So there's a, you can't quite see it at the bottom here. It's got one of three, two of three. There's the box. And if I type in the number, it's going to go left. But it, it did take the black. So unless it didn't was defaulted to black. Okay, so that's what the student sees. I like, as I mentioned, I like that. So let's go to the third one. Now what I did here is I uploaded coins. The unfortunate thing is I had to upload one at a time. So I just uploaded this quarter. And what I'm going to do is first of all, make it movable. So go up to here. So you got green circles or dots. And then I'm going to make a copy. So I'm just copy pasting it and it gives me another one. I had to upload the penny and then the nickel and then the dime and then the quarter and the background. So I had to do it five times. There are no banks to hold all these. So if I was to make another similar product, I'd have to upload this all again. So I'm hoping that is something they are looking at already um, adding as another, another feature. But let's just show you this one as a student. It always starts at page one, page two. Oh, there you go, page three. So drag 48 cents onto the large rocks, 25, 35, 45. 46, 47, and I don't know why that one duplicated large is very weird. 48, okay. And then if I go out of there, just close it. Uh, let me try something. I'm going to go to a box. Can I align? No, it says I can align, but it doesn't. That's weird. This is auto saved, which is nice. So I did this one. Uh, the other day. Again, something similar. Had to upload it separately. How much money is there? Instead of typing in the answer, I uploaded numbers to fit in the box. Yeah, it's still a little finicky with stuff. I'm trying to overlay images on top of images and it's not loving it. Like I, said, I added this text box here for instructions no audio instructions right now for the products that I make for kindergarten to grade two. That's a bit of a, it's it's a deal breaker because probably 95% of all my boom cards have audio instructions. Most of my Google slides have audio instructions. So I can't give audio instructions. TPT says that's coming, but it might come with a cost. So anyways, that is easel. As I said, I'm going to keep playing a little bit with easel over the summer. I'm hoping to maybe add two to three products. And if depending on how well those are and how much time they take me, I'll, I'll make, I'll make more. I've, I've still got things that I've got to research on with easel, but I'm really happy about these newest features that they've got and keep going TPT. And if you want more information on easel go to the source teachers pay teachers has a youtube channel you can go there and they have interactive tutorials right on teachers pay teachers play with them make your own decision 
Next week's videos, I'm very excited for both of them. The first one is Pinterest. Pinterest. <laughs> I'm going to share with you um, my Pinterest strategy since January, how it's turned out. Good news. Yay. And some easy tweaks. The other one is going to be a my year anniversary on Teachers Pay Teachers. It has just been over one year. I'll share my yearly income and I will also share some things that I've learned. Hard lessons, good lessons, but definitely going to keep going with uh, Teachers Pay Teachers. I think it's it's definitely rewarding. I've met some wonderful people. I've been trying some new things lately. I did a YouTube short. The lighting is not good. Uh, this video, by the way, is being filmed in morning in the morning, like by seven in the morning before I go to work. And the light is actually quite nice. I'm like, oh, this is this is pretty nice light. I find from my, this room, because it's got a dark, you know, you can see it, the dark paint color. If I film at night, it it's the, when I turn on, you know, the um, ring light or, or another light, it gets, yeah, I can't. That's another project. And for those of you, <laughs> and speaking of projects, for those of you who are working on the 90 day challenge, let me know in the comments how you are doing. If you have gotten started, we we have still four weeks of school. So I have gotten started. My The biggest thing that I have done, and if you haven't started, I would recommend this, is organization. What I did this past weekend is I spent one hour cleaning, one hour on each, actually was it one hour? Yeah one hour cleaning my email business my email personal and i have a i have what i call the junk email that i used when i give my email out I, I spent almost three hours between the three of them cleaning them up so now that they're all down to less than 20 emails on there which is like huge so that was a big thing and i can i can even Feel it when I open up my email that I'm not staring at hundreds of emails. I That's something, I don't know about you, but that weighs on me. The next thing I'll be doing is I'll be cleaning up my desktop because it is filled with screenshots and other things and most of that probably doesn't need to be on there. So I'm going to clean that up and then I'll hopefully it'll be all done and then I got to clean up this office. This side is fairly clean. That side is a bit of a mess. Those are my goals before school ends. So there you go. <laughs> I'd love to hear your experience with easel. Please pop a note down below and tell me what you're doing with it. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe and being healthy. And we'll catch you in the next video. Take care, everyone.